All right, I'm going to make a quick video about using the Microsoft Connect with ROS. Uh, we'll start off with the installation. So I've already got all of this installed, but I just want to show you. So we'll begin by installing the free Connect driver. I'm a little out of focus. There we go. All right, so uh, I would begin just by typing this line, sudo app to get and install the libfreenect slash dev uh, gotta put my password in here sorry I'm doing this one handedly okay so I've already got it so um, yours will look different you'll have to say yes um, and then this is another sudo app to get it says Ross Indigo Freenect Launch. All right. Okay, so I actually left the S off the beginning beginning of that. So there you go. Once again, I've already got it installed. So that's it for the driver. So now we can communicate. Um, but what we're going to be getting out of our Connect is going to be a 3D point cloud, which if you're going to be doing navigation, you may actually want a laser scan, a pseudo laser scan. So I'm going to install this, pseudo app to get install ROS Indigo depth image to laser scan. This will convert your point cloud into a laser scan that you can use for ground based navigation. All right, so those were the only three lines I had to run. Now I'm completely installed. Now let's go to running this. Well, of course, I don't actually need a ROS core here. So because a launch automatically does that. So I'm going to launch my driver. All right, should get quite a bit of feedback. Alright, a bit of feedback there, and then um, after it initializes, and I see some orange warnings, I'll know that it connected correctly, and it'll just be telling me that. See there, I didn't, I didn't calibrate it recently, so that's fine. Oh, out of focus. All right, so now I'm going to open up a new tab. And I'm going to ROS run my depth image. Okay, so of course you would have all this in a launch file, which I may cover one day in a video, but for now we're doing these single mindedly. Um, new terminal again, and this one's just going to be to view what's going on. So R viz. Okay, that. Gonna go to a camera link, so that's just gonna be my global frame for the moment. Uh, an application that wouldn't really be your global frame typically. Uh, and then I'm gonna click on this laser scan and see if I can get something. Let's see if I can get a laser scan. All right, there it is. So let me make it make it a little bigger. Oh, whatever. And then you can change to color. Um, you can actually do that real quick. All right. And then there is my laser scan.